Hi, welcome to Geek Do-It-Yourself Mechanic. The purpose of this short video is to go over the resources tab on my website. So from the home page, if you click on resources, you'll be taken to a page similar to this. I say similar in that I am not sponsored by any of the links on here. So to not show favoritism to any one of them, I randomly generate this page so that the order comes up in, in different each time. So let's begin. Scanner Danner, um, an instructor at uh, Rosedale Tech in uh, Pennsylvania. He's also, he still practices. He has a side business where he actually works on cars, which is good because he's not just being a mechanic and he's not just being an instructor he's keeping himself very up to date and is very practical and I've learned a ton from that gentleman great work ethic as well goes the extra mile to teach you how to diagnose cars remember we don't want to be swapping out parts we don't want to be a hacker we want to know exactly what's wrong fix it get in get out that's his style very good um, he has a a lot of public videos I suggest if you have a trouble code or issue you go to his channel by you can click on scanner danner here or learn more and then type in your trouble code or your ailment under his section and see if there's a video addressing it testing back pressure how to test an EGR valve how to adjust a, a idle control valve on a Ford just really good material again I suggest you do as public and then you subscribe to his premium channel. The reason I suggest that order, it's by going through his public content. You learn how he works. You learn his taxonomy, the words he uses. I hope also this website, Geek Do It Yourself Mechanic, helps you with some of those concepts as well, looking at circuits and things. Mighty Car Mods, very good channel. They go through and verify modifications to cars. Does the cold air intake really work for you? When does it? When doesn't it? Is the supercharger really for you? Does NOS really work? Things like that. Just a great channel. Real fixes real fast. Another professional mechanic. Um, what I like is his interactive series where he'll first go in and say, hey, we're getting this trouble code. What would you do? And you sit down and think about it, then hit the next section, and he goes through his style. Um, and then you learn. This very good. Plus, his other uh, videos are very good. ebookee.org. That seemed to have changed. When I used it before, you could download for free. Now it looks like, it makes me a little uneasy, you log in, you have to create an account and give credit card information. Maybe you can work around that, but I got, I have pulled down, downloaded numerous great free textbooks from that. Just awesome. James Danner. Sounds familiar. Danner, Scanner Danner, right above. Yes, they're brothers. He is very good as, as well. He takes you in the shop, shows you a treble code, walks you through what he does. Excellent mechanic. All data. I find this very helpful for me. And I'll show you an example. Where was I? General troubleshooting. Now this is on the uh, Mitchell site and I found it very good. Again, when you first get an issue, you want to research. Since you're probably like me and not a professional and just don't right off the bat know where to jump, I need a little spin up time myself. I go in here and I can look. Cold start symptom, you know, you first get in your car in the morning and it just da 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 da. What do you do? Well, these charts will give you a starting point. Again, you want to research. Schrodinger's box, great chemical engineer, great advanced do-it-yourself auto mechanic. His mantra is don't be a parts changer. I 100% agree. You do not want to be just a parts changer. Don't just throw parts at your issue. Doesn't work. I suggest you go there. Very good channel. ADP training. It, they have two sections that I liked. One section was how to build your own tools your own uh, coil on plug diagnostic tool that hooks to your your scope meter great uh, 
fuel injector tester, things like that. And they also have another set of videos where they teach you about the individual sensors. How do O2s work? How does an idle bypass work? How does a, a thermistor work? Things like that. So I like that channel a lot. Um, Engineering Explained. I like this channel because he explains things to you from an engineering point of view. And like this one right here, force induction. What is it? Engines. How does an engine work? And my favorite, um, horsepower versus torque. You four bangers out there always love your horsepower as V8 guys like our torque. Well, let's talk, look at this video, and then we'll talk. Fluke 98 user's manual. I have a fluke scope meter, uh, 98, but the reason I suggest this manual to you is in there it describes tests that you can execute on your car. How to test if your knock sensor works, what, how to test a potentiometer, things like that. And that's for free. So why not download it, read through it, learn from it. They also tell you how to interpret some of the graphs, pintle hump, uh, what's, good to, uh, what's a good ignition curve, things like that. Eric the car guy, another professional mechanic. He worked with, he had lots of experience with Hondas. He worked at a Honda dealership. Really good, practical, uh, non-high tech sort of mechanic. Very good. Summit Racing, well, where I get a lot of my parts. Why I like them, I'm sure there are others. Again, I'm not paid by any of these guys. Um, I like them because when I talk to a professional on the phone, they'll usually refer me to a guy. I happen to be a Mustang guy. They, they forward me to a Mustang guy to make sure I had the right high flow f uh, water pump, make sure I had the right thermostat, right hoses, everything. So I don't mind paying a little more to get what I need. I like to get in, get out. Circuit simulator. Love that. That you we will have in other videos, and I'll use that circuit simulator to demonstrate a lot of the circuits that are in cars. What's a pull-up, pull-down design? How does a relay work? How does the uh, coil work, ignition coil work? Things like that. Ballinger's Motorsports. Well, when I first started working on cars, I worked out an older Mustang and was working on my uh, idle bypass valve, pulling off the connector, snap, the clip broke off. I went, oh my gosh, where am I going to get that? Well, they would have it. Go to their site, you can put on a new connector. Motor.com, I really like them. For example, this is a uh, PDF you can download. How to uh, color code a wiring diagram. That way when you look at it, you can see which is power, switch power, switched ground, what is ground, things like that. It lets you take a big diagram and just make it simpler. Another good one is understanding waveforms. Like, what does it mean when the voltage goes up or goes down? Right here, what does that mean? And it goes through it. I really like this, this particular article. I read it, I swear, 20 times I'm going to do it again because I'm not by de uh, default an electrical engineer. So a lot of these things, concepts, I'm just learning. And this, some of these... Uh, papers on this website, motor.com, have really helped me learn. MIG Welding. Um, I believe Kevin is the uh, channel owner for this. Well, sometimes you have to work on a fender, f fix a part, make a tool. Just, um, I like to MIG weld as well. Mitchell, if that's like all data above, we talked to that. Remember that was the troubleshooting part as well. Auto Shop 101. Excellent that contains sort of subsections of a training course like you can learn all the d about different sensors he talks uh, about general uh, electronic uh, theory he talks about actually how to perform tests very good it's a free resource people use it and lastly uh, e video blog double e video blog electrical engineer and that's where you can uh, learn what an op amp is why would you use that the reason I went there is to learn op amp because I believe the 
new air fuel ratios go into an op amp which then go into the uh, uh, e ECU to determine what the current air fuel ratio is. Um, it uses a current uh, differential. Anyway, I hope you find this resource section uh, useful to you. Um, please in comments uh, add if you if you have your own personal favorites and maybe they'll appear here. Again, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the information helpful.